entrance antiphon. Perpetual light will shine on your saints, O Lord. No. Just kidding. Let me see. I will praise you, Lord. Among, among the, the nations, nations. I, will I will tell, tell your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of by the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, as we continue to go through this, we each day we, we re remember that he is alive, that he is arisen from the dead. And that he invites us into his glory. And so, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault. Through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we, we may possess an unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever amen, amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest stood up and all his companions, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out and said, go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry of the poor. poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. 
and delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the, the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come towards the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Do we really believe that? Do we really believe that? In our hearts, in our minds, and in our souls, do we believe that? Are we humble enough to realize that we need God? Can we admit that? Can we allow God into our lives? Or do we still think that we can handle it all by ourselves? Can we be poor in spirit? Can we admit that we are sinners? Can we admit that we need his help for everything? Can we admit that with God, we are nothing? Without him, where we are nothing. Can we admit that? Can we allow him into our lives? Can we cry out? And that's a challenge. Because some of us can't do that. We can't ask God for help. Some of us have never asked God. And so I challenge each of you out there and each of us to call out for God's help every single day. Ask for his healing touch, ask for forgiveness, ask for strength and hope and perseverance. Ask for those things. And really, I depend on him. Because if we think about it, he came into the world to be the light of the world. And what does that mean for you and I? Well, I think it means or has something to do with 
relationship that he offers us, each of us. Everything that he did for us, his passion, his death, and his resurrection was for relationship. It was his relationship. It is our relationship with by the Father in heaven. So if we are to allow him, him to be the light of the world, if we are to indeed allow him to be the light of the world for us, we must cry out. And so, my dear friends, we turn to our God who hears all of our prayers each and every moment of every day. For Pope Francis, Carter Leonardo, all bishops and priests, along with the whole church on this season of Jesus is rising, let us all trust in his power to lead us to his light after this darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy Rosary Parish and the whole world, that those infected by COVID-19 will be healed and those who have died will see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those working in the face of this pandemic, doctors, nurses, healthcare professionals, may God guide them as they seek to relieve suffering and develop new tests and vaccines. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may we walk in Christ's peace, bringing reconciliation as we live our vocations as single, married, religious, deacons, and priests. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may they tirelessly work for justice, equity, and peace to all persons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, May they know the healing power of the risen Christ that dispels fear as we walk together the road to new life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayer we hold in our hearts and offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to always depend on you every moment of every single day. And we ask all of our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who, by the wonderful exchange, effected in this 
sacrifice, hath made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of the light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his arising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, most honored in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and of the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with 
Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all of our clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and to all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Wenceslaus, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout by the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's holy peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Communion antiphon. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I think that is my favorite prayer in the Roman Missal, imbued with heavenly mysteries. It just feels so good when I pray that prayer. Someone asked me the other day, what good does it do for us to watch the Mass online? Aren't we supposed to be there? Well, that's very true. Um, we do um, require people in our faith to be present at the Mass because that is the normal way to do that. But we are in the middle of a pandemic. We, we are in the middle of something that is very strange. And the church through the centuries has had to make do with um, different tragedies, with um, different plagues, with wars or persecution. And no matter how it happens or when it happens, everybody still um, somehow connects um, spiritually. And we are super blessed in 2020 because you can watch the sacrifice happen. So what can you be doing at home? You can be hearing the word and going through and having that change your life every single day. You can participate in the sacrifice with all the angels and saints in heaven. Because they aren't sitting in the room, but they're you know, around, you know. And so you can participate with all of that. Spiritual communion, I would dare say, um, for some of you who, who, who are really taking that seriously, it may be even more powerful than receiving the host. Because you are consuming spiritually his body and his blood. Now, yes, the normal way is to consume him as the host here, but God knows what all of us are going through, and God is going to meet us wherever you and I are. So, my dear friends, it matters. So keep on praying and keep on um, praying with us. It means a lot, you know, to all of us. So God bless you, and have a wonderful day. The Lord, I be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you abundantly, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Now we turn to the Blessed Mother and we especially pray for Holy Rosary Parish, for Holy Rosary for St. W, and for Holy Rosary Catholic School, and especially for those who have no one to pray for them. 
Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that thou be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And um, my dear friends, um, don't forget to come back to Bible study at 1 o'clock with the um, famous or Deacon Brick. <laughs> that, was, that was Deacon Brick's snort. No one, no one else is snorting. Infamous? Infamous Deacon Brick. <laughs> <laughs>